Welcome to Divine Bell Beginnings 93. This is going to be the butterfly effect. Um, we have three decks that we're going to use. And this is just an overview of what we should be working on. And I'm going to do this from Tuesday to Tuesday. So Tuesday of this week till next Tuesday. Tuesday of next week. This should just be the things we're going to be working on. The things we're going to be going through. That's basically it. Um... Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you haven't given this video a thumbs up just yet. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Please leave a comment at the end if you listen to the video. Or if you didn't listen to the video, just leave a comment. You know, anything you would like to say about the video. Let's get started. So this will be from today. This will be uploaded today. So we are currently working on Courage. Now, one thing I want to say about courage that I'm working on personally is letting people go out of my life, standing up to people who I once thought, you know, they have my best interests at heart. I'm getting the courage to say no. That's a really big thing for me. I always say yes, and I never say no, even if the situation doesn't make me happy I still say yes because I'm I'm just like I just like to make people happy you know but when people constantly use you you gotta stand up for yourself the next one is support support friends support family support loved ones support anything that you do in your life Another thing we're going to be working on again is emotions. Emotions ties into everything we do on an everyday basis. You can't, you gotta you gotta find balance in your emotions. You can't be too giving, and you can't be too too receiving. We're going to be making decisions. And when I say to receiving, I mean as far as you got to give as much as you receive. And that's what I mean by that. Gracefully aging. Maybe some birthdays are coming up. Gracefully aging. If not, then you may see a great, great piece of hair. That's, that's glory. I, I call that glory hair. And the reason I call that glory hair is because it shows how far you've come. Or not even that, the things you've gotten over. It just shows the progression of life. Grief work. My condolences to anyone who's lost someone in their life. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be death. It could definitely be walking away from things as well. But I feel as though someone around you may have someone that's passing away or gonna pass away. The next card is memories. We're working on making those good memories. We're working on remembering when remembering when things were great. Health care changes. You gotta stay healthy. That's the only way you can go about this journey. You gotta be healthy. You got to. You got to get healthy. So I want to pull the last two cards from the bottom of the butterfly deck. And the last two cards is seeking and finding. Keeping the faith. Which is my favorite color. And which also are two royalty colors. So we're just going to do that hopefully that's the thumbnail i hope you can i hope can you see it okay there we go there we go i'm just gonna put this right here like that okay the next one we're gonna go with is flower power where i'm at it's supposed to be spring 
but we get the lovely beautiful snow right now so let's see okay the first one is open your third eye one thing I want to say before I get into reading this card meditation is a great thing to open your third eye as well as before you even look into these readings make sure you meditate so your sound of body mind and soul through these readings no matter which reading it is you should be using your intuition to know what's for you and what's not for you by you meditating it helps open chakras for one other than you can do other things i'm not really versed on the other different things you can do into opening your chakra i know i sit around candles and i meditate and to me it kind of helps clear certain things but for other people it's different things you can do um and there's a few websites you can go on I'm not for sure what are the websites but you can google it in the search engine and it should bring up some things you can do to clear your chakras I know um, you guys may have seen that I do have a chakra bracelet on and sometimes it turns for me well most of the time it turns for me I don't turn it um, and then that's what I say okay so that's what I'm clearing today that's the chakra that's going to be getting cleared out today you know so anyway back to the flower power it says opening your third eye open your third eye it's safe for you to open your center of ooh wee clairvoyancy I want to say that's what that is by doing so you'll see the truth so one thing about having your chakras is you have you you tend to get blockages me too so don't think I'm just talking about you guys because as I do my readings I look for things for me as well so blockages especially if you're trying to do something or you're thinking about relationships and you want to go into union these are the blockages that stops you from doing these things as far as it could be um, exes you releasing your ex that could be a blockage um, your voice the way you talk the way you speak that could be a blockage so definitely that's why I say meditation is good well it's good for me I don't know about everyone else but meditation is very good um, sitting in a room with quiet I know uh, you can do a cleanse you can do a bathroom cleanse at that um, it's a few ways to do a bathroom cleanse to basically clean your whole bathroom get everything that has labels on them out get candles and if they have like labels at the bottom take those labels off and then burn the candles in the rest in the bathroom and the reason why you take those labels off is because with those labels the person who put those labels on there their energy is on those candles so when you take them in the bathroom their energy that they were putting into making those candles are on there but you want to clear the energies so you're going to take those labels off for them all if you have a trash basket um when you close the bathroom door make sure you just set it outside the bathroom um you get in water and you meditate basically but you kind of wash up you should already be clean before you get into that water you should already have showered and then you're just getting into the water um it's not basically a wash up it's just brushing the water all over your body it's a, it's a cleanse um, that's the way to do it but besides that there's other things you can do than look up online to see how to do cleanses I know it's a lot of other cleanses that you can do so the next card is release all the anger don't give power to negative words by saying them speak from your higher self and make your communications peaceful and loving the next one first step breaking down 
this problem into tiny pieces makes it easier to take the first step. So emotions, that's on top of emotions. That's a, that's a great thing. If something, okay, if you're having a conversation and say it triggers something from your past so you get hot and outraged, stop yourself for one. For two, take a deep breath. For three, if the situation, if you're having a conversation with somebody and it's not great and you have the option to get up and walk away and come back to the situation where you're more clear-minded, that's the best thing to do. And then you express to that person why that was a trigger for you. Or if, like if it's a boss or something, take a deep breath in your head and then calm down, express yourself as far as saying, Okay, well, I think this should happen or that should happen. Make sure you have clear communication. That's the only way someone's going to understand your opinions, your thoughts. Okay, the next one. Simplify your life. You have so much going on that you're spread too thin. This has to change now so you're uh -oh. ooh guys some of these words I don't know um vanity so basically it's saying this has to change I know what the word means it's just hard for me to pronounce so basically it's saying Things have to change in your life so you can recharge. So your soul, basically, so, you, so your soul, your chakras, things of that nature can recharge. The next one, it says, shield yourself. Invoke protection to bring the situation to a speedy end. The next one, it says, raise your vibrations, your intuition, wait, your intuitive feelings are accurate. Messages from the angels. Uplift your thoughts. Focus your attention on the many blessings that surround you. By doing so, you'll let go of depression poor self-esteem and excess, excess weight sign from the heaven your loved one in spirit are waving hello and giving you reassurance that you'll be all right And then under the deck, it says clearing chakras. See, we just talked about that. By clearing your chakra, you open yourself up to profound wisdom. I'm going to knock that candle over. I'm going to move it pretty soon. Okay, so we're going into magical messages from your fairies and then that will end the video okay so the first one is perfect timing this is the right time for you to move forward okay whom do you need to forgive as you release the anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. Autumn. 
In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest and abundance. Connect with nature. You've rejuvenated and inspired by, by spending time outdoors. Let go. As you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. Affirmations. To lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. Daughter, the answer to your question involves your daughter. Your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. And at the bottom of the deck is summer. Everything that you ask for becomes yours in the summertime. I'm just gonna, that's what that looks like. I thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs up, please. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you next Tuesday.